Good morning world, day four this morning. Uh, <clears throat> I'm taking it sort of easy, getting up a little later now, knowing my destination is getting closer and it's doable, uh, making it there by the 16th if not earlier. Slow and steady. We're answering a question that most people would think in their mind, what do you do for the bathroom when in the morning? Well, since I park in Walmart and I do a fair bit of shopping over there, they have a very clean bathroom. And uh, like that, there are others. Many of you uh, expressed to me how they cannot do this trip because of their, you know, bathroom going habits and that going anywhere is an issue. Well, see, the bathroom going habit every morning is just 10 minutes. Why would I ruin the rest of the day? That could be in beautiful locales, <clears throat> meeting some lovely people, doing some meaningful work, just for those 10 minutes. Well, suck it up, do it whatever, you gotta go, you gotta go, and then the rest of the day, you're good to go. So I'm here, back at uh, Gulflander, getting her ready and prepped for day four. What am I gonna get? I don't know. Let's hope it's all nice, meeting good people, getting closer to where one needs to be. Uh, we're getting into some really beautiful territory, um, pretty, I hope, into North Dakota and then into Saskatchewan, Canada. Well, that's really not that pretty. It's pr quite flat and just farmlands everywhere, but uh, maybe that could look good. Let's see what uh, windscreen TV and dash cam capture. See you soon. What's for breakfast this morning? Well, I love granola cereal, so I got the granola uh, cereal. And uh, since I don't want to drink too much milk, not that I'm opposed to it, uh, it's going to be almond milk in a slowly cooling, well, refrigerator. Looks like it's colder outside than inside the refrigerator. For some reason, this is not working. Uh, and this is the uh, immune support well, booster juice for what they call it, I'm not sure. But I'm kind of worried why this fridge is not getting cooler than it's supposed to. I may need to take a look at that. All right, but for now, breakfast time and let's leave. We'll figure out that problem later. Because it's sort of getting cooler, but it's at still at 17 degrees. I'm wondering why it's taking this long. Since my water system is broken, I have no water pump, so my toilets and, well, there's no running water. So this is my makeshift arrangement for running water. Uh, the drainage system all works, but yeah, I can use this to fill water, do the dishes, whatever. And uh, time to eat some breakfast. We are in Johnstown, North Dakota. I was driving by and uh, I found those kites flying. And I realized there must be some kite festival going on. I turned around and wanted to take a look. So uh, let's go take a look. I'm following the kites. Uh, I don't know how to get there, so just looking up and Hopefully I'm going to make a left turn somewhere here and, and, uh, and meet the kite festivities going on. Well, the idea is for them, well, for me to see the kites and what's going on over there, and for them to see the messaging on this truck. It's about organ donation awareness, right? So this truck gets a lot of curiosity. And therefore, some part of the mission would be accomplished, right? Oh, there we go, we're heading closer. Check out this car. What year did that come out of? Kite 2022. Looks like an annual event. I better find me a parking spot and see then uh, what, what else goes on here. Coming up on the kite festival, look at all the shapes and sizes, the dragons and, well, more and more dragons, lots of dragons. 
like a fun Sunday community event here. Stream machine, all the kids. Uh, looks like a fun time. How cool do they all look? The Gulf Lander is having a ringside view on on this kite flying fiesta over here in Johnstown, North Dakota. Just short of getting into the Canadian border. That was fun. Yeah, it's funny how uh, things that were always there in your life that you never really paid attention to, now suddenly you look at everything. When you're in a vehicle, when you're doing nothing and you're thinking about nothing, well, I'm thinking about work, but besides that, nothing else, all of these small things look exciting. But it's good to see how those kids were enjoying this uh, Kite Fest 2022. And I'm um, heading on to, towards Edmonton. I should reach the Canadian border pretty soon and I'm getting ready to do a talk at a Rotary Club in New York, Hudson Valley, in a couple of hours. So I need to find a nice rest stop to do that in. We'll check it later. That's what the kite festival looks like from afar. Three p.m. I have a Zoom call with a Rotary Club, Hudson Valley in New York, and I was hoping I'd get to a small town where I could park and do the call. And it happens to be this one, Sykeston, somewhere in the middle of North Dakota. And I'm hoping the signal will be good enough for me to uh, do this Zoom call. Of course, I'm going to be uh, the circus clown in this town. Everybody wants to know what this truck is doing here. There's Sykeston City Hall. Uh, this being a Sunday, everything is closed. Everyone's like home. So, I'm gonna just turn around and park right here. We're coming up to the uh, U.S.-Canadian border here at Portal, North Dakota. I'm not sure how much you can hear my voice over the truck noise, but uh, the picture should tell you something. This is where I'm spending the night tonight. Now this is the US-Canadian border. And fingers crossed, should have no problems. I just entered Canada and it was quite the adventure. <laughs> you learn a lesson at every border and this Canadian border was quite a lesson. I came through to the border quite late, about 8.30 or so, uh, p.m. There was nobody else, just me. And uh, my truck rolls in and I get asked a billion questions and I said, no, 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 no. I had an oversight. They had asked me if I'd carry a, a stun gun or, or mace or pepper spray or taser. I was focusing more on pepper spray and mace and guns and all of that. This taser part just flew by me and I let it go. They said, no, 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 no. And then when they inspected the truck, they found a taser in my laptop bag, right on top. Not like it was hidden or anything because I wasn't intending to do anything wrong with that. It was just self-protection for what happened to me in Diwali in Canada last time we were here, if you remember the stalker story. Anyway, and that blew up to a point where they 
said that they could cons confiscate the vehicle and find me $500. But the officer was fair and uh, he took that everything into consideration and said he let me off with a warning and said next time just don't bring stuff that's not allowed to be in here. I was like, yeah, I would. I didn't know first of all, but now that I know it, it won't happen again. And all of this ordeal took quite a while, like an hour or so. I'm used to border interrogations, but this was a little different. This was my bad, uh, something I did, and uh, I was embarrassed, and I was smirking like this, and it wasn't uh, making him very happy. He thought I was smirking at him and taking everything like a joke, but no, it wasn't. It was quite embarrassing, frankly. But uh, bottom line is, I finally got let through. I made it into Canada on time. In fact, ahead of time, three days ahead of time. So it gives me time to do some maintenance work on uh, Gulf Liner whenever possible. And yeah, I've got one more day tomorrow to reach Edmonton, hopefully without a hitch. Stay tuned for more. After the border, uh, we found I found a truck stop and most of these truckers are actually all of them are from Punjab looks like this is owned by well maybe a Punjabi and I asked one of the drivers hey can I park it here he said yeah it's okay and all of these guys are are apna desi so maybe we'll strike up a conversation maybe not they're tired like I am I'm gonna go sleep eat something inside and uh, it's been quite an adventure at the border. I almost didn't make it inside of Canada for a stupid mistake I made. <laughs>